Hi everyone, Dave here. This is a updated version of my Peltier freezer experiment. This experiment is designed to teach me about using Peltiers to make a freezer. This freezer currently has reached 14.3 degrees Fahrenheit. The Celsius readout is minus 9.8. Now that is much better performance than I was getting before. And the other thing about this freezer is that it now pumps down relatively quickly. It doesn't take a long time to reach near freezing temperatures. It goes down very quick. And that's exactly what I was looking for. So because of the performance of this setup here, I'm working on building a bigger freezer. This is the beginning of my DIY freezer or refrigerator. I'm not really sure if it will be one or both. It could be a freezer or it might just be a refrigerator or it might be both. It's just a cooler. This is a very low cost, cheap, basic cooler. It will require some significant modifications, like removing the handle. This lid is not exactly what I had in mind. Of course, I'm going to be using Peltier modules to do the cooling. Of course, there's going to be probably water cooling for the hot side of the Peltier. And maybe I can put that on here somewhere. I don't know exactly how I'm going to attach it. This freezer is using about 49.2 watts, which is less than what the other freezer was using. And yet it works a lot better. I'm using the same water cooling that I was before. A small DC brushless pump, a radiator and a fan. It's just water. There's nothing particularly unusual about the water. It's just plain water. And I did upgrade the insulation a little bit to improve the uh, performance. I just found some scrap foam and wrapped it around and cut it up. And that works pretty good. The ambient temperature of the water at least is 78.8 degrees. So that's a significant drop of temperature. This is from another experiment that I'm running. So only these two are involving the freezer itself. I just wanted to update you folks on the Peltier freezer project. It's coming along. These things take time, money, and effort and don't always go the way you plan. I'm going to go ahead and proceed with my idea to build a refrigerator or a freezer custom built from scratch using all solid state modules. And of course it's going to be 100% solar powered.